So I was just showing you guys how she run and how she idle. That's actually the first time I started up for the day. That's a cold start. But uh, the way how she idles after I rev it a few times, she like to kind of sound like she's going to bog out. But if you ask me, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think it's from just leaving it sitting out in the cold at night. And the gas flow is still going to the carburetor and it gets a little gummy and it hits the jets and it gets a little sticky and causes it to bog out a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and pull the carburetor off and just open it up and clean it. Maybe change the jets around or just clean the jet that's currently in there and give it another shot. But I have new carburetors that I'm going to put on it later on in the future, but this NT speed carburetor does its thing. And most of you guys know about this carburetor, man. You know it does its thing when it comes to acceleration and performing. I recommend you having that on any 80cc motor that you own in your collection. Pick it up, order it. Just make sure you own one. Can never go wrong with it. So, um, yeah, I was just showing you guys how Lucille likes to run in the morning. You know, especially if she started up for the first time. And before she's ready to go to work, she likes to just sit and idle for like five minutes. No longer than that. Cut her right back off so she won't overheat. And she's going to be pretty much easy start for the rest of the day and ride out. I haven't test driven it yet since I got the motor mount put on and fixed and tightened. Hi, hey, Janae. Hey, babe. All right. You're a little bit on camera, but this is my YouTube community. Nice to see you, girl. All right, all right. He should be in there. All right, so um, you guys, man, don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, my channel, and please share it, man. Um, shout out to everybody that's viewing this, man, and much love and respect for everyone, man. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the um YD100 soon. Um, today is actually a good day to do that. So, um, uh, stay tuned for my next video today if you guys want to see the YD100 frame out today and. I'm going to go ahead and put some content on that one and see what more I have to do to it. So uh, if you guys seen it already in my past videos, um, it's pretty much still left the same. Nothing has changed or nothing. Um, I do have the new muffler on there. It looks pretty better than the first one I had on there. But uh, it's turning out to look great, but it's still calling for some more money. I say uh, at least about a minimum of $300 more I got to put into it. But... If you guys thinking 300 then yeah, it's going to be about that much, at least a minimum 275 But for the real motorized bicycle riders out there, you know what I mean when these parts adds up, you know. And I'm not talking about all together on one part. I'm talking about after I'm done buying all the parts I need, I'm going to spend about 275 or close to $300 on the um, Huffy Cranbrook. Yeah, so I haven't driven it yet. It's still got zero miles on it, fresh out the box that came with the kit that comes with the box. And um, once I get it, man, and hopefully I have my GoPro before I start riding it. You guys get to get the first ride out on it, man. You know what I mean? So stay tuned, man. And once again, I appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all guys stay strong out there, man. Motorized bicycle. Let's go.